We've helped black labs, boxers, spaniels and havanese, shih tzus, wolfhounds, staffies, jacks and pekinese, long hairs, short hairs, gingers and bengals, burmese, siamese, persians and ragdolls, lionheads, harlequins, papillons and silver fox, cashmere, sables, alaskans and mini lops, half-breeds, cross-breeds, mongrels and pedigrees, marmalades, tortoiseshells, moggies, tabbies, balinese. Over the past 36 years, Pet Plans helped more pets through more accidents and illnesses than any other pet insurer. Every pet deserves Pet Plan. Your toy group judge this evening, Mr. George Farmer. George, famous the world over for his sangria kennels, has made up champions in smooth and long coat chihuahuas, Maltese and Japanese chins over the last 40 years. He awards CCs in six of the toy breeds and has judged breeds here for us before, but is delighted to judge the group tonight that wins us. So let's hear it one more time for Mr. George Farmer. And the first of the breeds in the toy group is the Affenpincher. Followed by the Australian Silky Terrier and the Bichon Frise, and the Bolognese, and the Cavalier King Charles Spaniel, the Long Coat Chihuahua, the Smooth Coat Chihuahua, the Chinese Crested Dog, the English Toy Terrier, the Griffon Bruxellois, the Havanese, the Italian Greyhound, and the Japanese Chew. The King Charles Spaniel, the Maltese, the Miniature Pincher, the Papillon, the Pekingese, the Pomeranian, the Pug, and the Yorkshire Terrier. Whilst our judge, George Farmer, takes his first look at the best of breed winners in the toy group at Windsor 2013, let me take this opportunity to explain a little about the toy dogs here. There are two things that every one of these breeds that we see in front of us has in common. Firstly, and fairly obviously, their similar stature in size. But secondly, and not so obvious, their huge stature in personality. And let me tell you, ladies and gentlemen, do not be fooled by their size. These toy breeds have very, very big hearts indeed. So, just as we see in most of the groups, there's a really interesting continental mix found in the toy group. We see before us breeds not only from the United Kingdom and across the whole of Europe, but also those from the Americas, Asia, the Far East and even Australia too.
So, George has had his first look at these 21 toy breeds in the toy group at Windsor 2013. And the first of the toy breeds for him to have a closer look at on the table now is the Affen Pincher. Tony Teasdale was our judge of Affen Pinchers today. Tony had an entry of 45. She chose this dog that we see on the table, number 3248, as her best of breed winner. The Affenpinscher is a native of Germany. The breed has a captivating monkey-like expression. Indeed, the German word for monkey is Affe, and this is where the Affenpinscher name comes from. Sometimes called the Black Devil, the breed was originally created in the 17th century as a ratter, working to remove rodents from kitchens, granaries and stables. Active, adventurous, curious and stubborn. They are also fun-loving and very playful. The best of breed winning Afrin Pincher, 3248. On the table now, we see the Australian Silky Terrier, judged today by Margaret Walcott. There were seven, and it was this dog, three, two, five, six, that Margaret chose as the breed representative. Originating in Australia, and once known as the Sydney Silky, its ancestors are actually the Yorkshire Terrier and the Australian Terrier which itself is derived from the British rough-coated terrier breeds. Keenly alert and active personalities, there are even references to the huge spirit of this little breed tackling snakes in its native Australia. After World War II, with returning servicemen taking the breed home, the Australian Silky Terrier has grown in popularity all over the world. The best of breed winning Australian Silky 3256. On the table now we see the Bichon Frise, judged by Leslie McLeod from an entry of 48. Leslie chose the dog 3263 as her best of breed winner. Bichon, in Middle French, refers to a small, long-haired dog. Frise translates to curly-haired. It's thought that the origin of the Bichon is in actual fact the Canary Island of Tenerife in the Mediterranean. It's believed that sailors as far back as the 14th century took these dogs home to France from Tenerife, and hence their popularity grew. They enjoy water and retrieving, but today are best known for their amiable personality and importance in so many family households across the world. The best of breed winning Bichon Frise, 3263. Margaret Balcott also judged the Bolognese today. She chose the bitch, number 3307, from an entry of 16. <laughs> Bologna in Italy, around the 11th or 12th century, is supposedly the origin of this ancient breed. Indeed, the Medici family are known to have bred known Bolognese. Other famous historical figures involved with the breed are Madame de Pompadour, Catherine the Great, and Maria Theresa, Empress of Austria. The 
It's reported that the decline of the aristocracy in Europe was a major reason for the breed falling out of favour. However, of late, due to the dedication of Italian and Belgian breeders, the Bolognese is re-establishing its popularity once again. 3307, the best of breed winning Bolognese. On the table now, we see the Cavalier King Charles Spaniel. There are 169 Cavalier dogs, judged by Catherine Lee, and 92 Cavalier bitches, judged by Sue Corn. It was the bitch, number 3404, that emerged triumphant. Despite now being the most popular numerically in this group, the Cavalier did not actually secure kennel club status until 1944. This charming breed now ranks numerically in the top 10 of all breeds registered in 2012. Although going back several centuries, its origins are somewhat hazy. Of course, closely, closely linked to the King Charles Spaniel and the court of Charles II, the Cavaliers is larger in size than its cousin and has a longer muzzle. The best of breed winning Cavalier, King Charles Spaniel, 3404. The first of the Chihuahua varieties for George to look at. It's a long tail Chihuahua judged by Diane Robinson. From an entry of 138, it was a dog. 3553, chosen as best of breed winner. Although the breed's origin is debatable and probably South American, taking his name from the Mexican state of Chihuahua, he may well have originated in China. He is the smallest breed of dog in the world and first came to prominence in 1895. Described as cheeky with a saucy expression, there is no doubt that he thinks he is a big dog, and at heart he truly is. The best of breed winning long coat chihuahua, three double five three. Ken Bartlett was our judge of smooth coat chihuahuas. There were 37 for Ken to judge, and it was 3 6 3 3 that Ken chose as the best of breed winner. Just as much a big hearted dog as his long haired cousin, the smooth coat chihuahua stole the hearts of America when the breed moved across borders and state lines into Arizona and New Mexico. Chives, as they are known, have become increasingly popular the world over, especially so since the beginning of the 20th century. The smooth coat's name is apt, for its coat must be smooth with a soft texture, close and glossy, with undercoat and rough permissible. The best of breed winning smooth coat Chihuahua, 3633. On the table now we see the Chinese Crested Dog. Linda Biss was the judge today and there were 81 Chinese Crested. It was the Bitch 3685 chosen as best of breed. First recognised by the Kennel Club in 1981, these unique little dogs come in two varieties, the Hairless and the Powder Puff. Here we see the Hairless. 
Whilst difficult to pinpoint their origin, it's said that they were owned by families of the ancient Han Dynasty of China, where they were guardians of treasure houses. In fact, they're still good watchdogs today. As well as being good companions, they were very intelligent and a very affectionate breed. Famous owners of this delightful breed include the illustrious Gypsy Rose Lee, the best of breed when Chinese crested 3685. Andrew Leonard judged the English Joy Terriers today. There were 21 for Andrew to judge, and he selected the bitch 3766 as best of breed. Prior to the 1960s, the ETT, as it, became, as it has become known, was called the Miniature Black and Tan Terrier. Its history is closely linked to the larger Manchester, Manchester Terrier that we'll see in the Terrier group tomorrow. Their origin can be traced way back to the 16th century, and in those times the ETT was used for flushing foxes and were also used in rat pits, where they showed a real prowess and were very much prized. Nowadays, the English Toy Terrier makes a charming, intelligent and non-aggressive companion with a wonderfully smooth and glossy coat, as we can see here. The best of breed winning, ETT 3766. Peter Young was the judge of the Griffon Groupe de Loire. There were 30 Griffons. Peter to judge, it was the dog, 3781, that was chosen as best of breed. Named after its city of origin, Brussels in Belgium, this charming breed can be traced way back. But it's in the 19th century that they began to gain popularity, particularly with coachmen, who used the dogs in the stables to deal with vermin. Queen Marie Henriette, who was a Griffon supporter at the dog shows in Belgium, brought the breed much fame and much popularity. The breed was crossed with pugs in the late 1890s, and in do doing this, the smooth Griffon came along and were known as the Petit Parvenson. Although now, of course, rough and smooth both come under the name Griffon Bruxellois. The best of group doing Griffon 3781. Tony Teasdale also judged the Havanese today. There were 29 Havanese. It was the dog, number 3800, that Tony chose as her breed representative in the group. So from Belgium and Europe, we move continents across the Atlantic Ocean to the island of Cuba, and we see the Havanese, the national dog of Cuba. The breed, as we see it today, was developed from the now extinct Blanquito de la Habana, which translates as the little white dog of the land. 
It's believed that it was the breeding of the Blanquito with other Bichon type dogs and also the Poodle that produced the Havanese as we now know it. A really smart dog, easily trained, they love human company and are superb family members. 3-8-0-0, the best of breed winning Havanese. Stephen Barber judged Italian Greyhounds. From an entry of 64, it was the bitch, 3831 that Stephen selected. The Italian Greyhound claims a heritage dating way back to the days of Pompeii, from where he found his way to Britain in the 17th century. Some say that this ancient breed was perhaps the first dog to be developed as a pet and a lap dog. <laughs> Another toy breed who shows real bravery and courage mixed with a gentle and loving nature. He's definitely not a delicate dog and loves nothing more than plenty of good exercise. Three eight three one, the best of breed winning Italian Greyhound. Stephen Bardwell was also the judge of Japanese chins. There were 76 Japanese chins, and Stephen chose the dog 3897 as best of breed. The Japanese chin is an oriental aristocrat in both bearing and demeanour. History tells us that despite his name, he originated in neighbouring China made his way to Japan, to Japan as a gift from one empress to another. The word chin means cat-like, and indeed these little dogs do use their paws in the manner of a cat to wash their faces. Another small dog who is in no way delicate, is a real extrovert, very bright, and extremely intelligent. Three eight nine seven, the best of breed winning Japanese chin. shorter nose which are just a couple of points which differentiate this lovely breed from its cavalier cousin. Another small dog with a huge heart. They are great characters 
who love human companionship and make superb family members. The best of breed winning King Charles Spaniel 3995. Barbara Dabbs was the judge of the Maltese today with an entry of 25. It was the dog 4068B. B for Bravo. 4068B. That was chosen as best of breed. As the name suggests, it's generally understood that the breed's origins lay in the island of Malta. However, the Maltese name has been said to have derived from the Adriatic island of Midget, and even a Sicilian town called Melita. In fact, its Latin name is indeed the Canis Melitaeus. One thing we're certain of is that Maltese ancient history is ancient, ancient history. According to Charles Darwin, the breed dates way back to many years BC. It's said that the Roman Emperor Claudius and our own Queen Mary, the Mary Queen of Scots, are just two famous historical figures to have owned this lovely breed. The best of breed winning Maltese, 4068B. On the table now, I see the miniature picture. Judged by Peter Jolly, there were 24, and it was a bitch, 4090. Chosen as best of breed, and Min Pins, as they're affectionately known, first arrived in the UK from Germany, their homeland, in 1938. The miniature pincher was an adept ratter and mouser. It's believed that the name pincher was taken from either pincer or pincher in English, referring to the dog's tendency to kill vermin quickly by grabbing and holding fast. The best of breed winning miniature pincher for 090. We're still missing four puppies from the toy puppy group. The Chinese Crested, the Pomeranian, the Peak and the Yorkshire Terrier. This really is your last chance to be prejudged in the rings adjacent to the best in show ring, rings 14 and 15. Vanessa Cox was the judge of Papillons. There were 105 Papillons for Vanessa to judge, and she selected the bitch 4184. 4184, the best of breed winning Papillon. The breed has two countries listed as its home, namely France and Belgium, in both of which it's known as the Continental Choice Spaniel, Papillon, or in a drop eared version, Paline. The erect eared version of the breed takes its name from the French word for butterfly, while the drop eared version is named after the moth. Here we see the erect eared version of the papillon. This lovely little breed demands human attention and company, is easy to train, and is always proud and extrovert. The Papillon does extremely well in the obedience ring as well as the show ring. The best of breed ring, Papillon 4184.
There were 35 Piccadies for Margaret Mallows to judge. It was the dog for 218 that Margaret chose to send through to the group. One of the oldest breeds of dog, and as the name suggests, the Peak, it's known, originates from China in the ancient city of Peking. Hugely popular at the Chinese Imperial Court, all peaks of today descend from the five dogs found at the Chinese Imperial yeah. Court. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, They've been popular too with our own royal family, notably owned by Queen Victoria and her daughter-in-law, Queen Alexandra. Another small dog with a huge heart, they love nothing better than human company, make a super member of any size of home. 4218, the best of breed winning Pekingese. Ken Barton was the judge of the Pomeranians, and from an entry of 26, it was the dog, 4243, that Ken chose as his best of breed winner. Though Britain is listed as the country of development of the Pomeranian, he is a Spitz type dog descended from a large Arctic sled dog, and finding himself in the showroom by way of Germany and northern Poland, the area of the Pomeranian. The Pom, as they're affectionately known, was bred from the German Spitz before becoming known in Britain in the 1870s. It was Queen Victoria's royal patronage that popularised the breed greatly at the end of her reign. <laughs> The smallest of the spitz type dogs in stature, a giant by heart, lively, vivacious, and full of affection. Best of breed with Pomeranian for two for three. Despite speculation as to the country of origin for the park, it would seem they came from the Orient. Indeed, China is listed as the breed's home country. Parks found their way to Europe with traders of the Dutch East India Company as far back as the 1500s. And in the Netherlands, the breed became the symbol for royal Dutch patriots as against the Kaiser for the patriot commoners. It was William III who introduced the park to the UK. Royal patronage has followed through the centuries. Queen Victoria, Edward and Mrs. Simpson, Marie Antoinette, to name but a few, who are admirers of this charming breed with a huge personality. The best of breed winning pub for 392. And the last dog for George to consider in this toy group at Windsor 2013 is the Yorkshire Terrier. The Yorkshire Terriers were judged by Grace Godwin from 21. It was the bitch 4409 sent through to represent the breed in the group. 
The Yorkie, as often referred to, comes from the same locale as the Airedale Terrier. It was first seen around the 1850s. It's believed that the old Black and Tan Terrier, the Maltese and the Skye Terrier, are all behind the Yorkshire Terrier, as he became known in 1870. It's his terrier-like qualities, including the hunting instinct, whether for a toy in the house or a rodent in the garden, that makes him such a special breed. Yorkies are hardy, enjoy all sorts of games and love nothing better than a good walk in the fresh air. Four four zero nine, the best of breed winning Yorkshire Terrier. So that concludes the individual assessment of the 21 toy breeds in the toy group tonight. George is going to have one last look at these toy breeds in their entirety here before he makes a cut or a short list. And we'll find out who the third group winner is for our show this year for the final one Sunday. So, George has had that last look of all the 21 best of breed winning breeds in the toy group. And the first of the shortlisted dogs is the Bichon, the Cavalier, the Smooth Coat Chihuahua, the Chinese Preston. The Griffon. The Japanese Chip. The Maltese. The King Charles Spaniel. And that's, that's his shortlist, so thank you so much. Let's hear it please for those other best of breed winners that didn't make the shortlist. Thank you very much and well done on winning through your dream today. So these shortlisted dogs will move into place and I know George will 
ask for them to be moved one more time before making his decision. to show your appreciation for the hard work that he's got to do. Let's hear it for the Beach Hall Frise. The Chinese press do set through by Lynn Lapis. 3685. And the Griffon Bruxelles Choice of Peter Young. 3781. The Japanese chip. Our judge was Stephen Barbwell. 3897. Chinese Preston. 